want to make a quick video here um, for those who have a Ram truck I'm sure it's good for other trucks as well and you buy these aftermarket lights I've bought these lights here to hang off the rear uh, bumper and I need them for when I go camping or hooking up the fifth wheel travel trailer um, and they give a pretty good amount of light one goes there another one here I haven't mounted it quite yet because I have it in the front um, so I can show you how you can wire this up if you have the auxiliary switches and the upfitter kit with this you don't need the wiring harness and the button that comes with uh, some of these LED packages first let me show you what I'm talking about <clears throat> in here you'll see that there are these buttons one through five and you can program them to anything um, snow plow uh, maybe a front LED light bar a winch um, so in here you go to your commercial settings and you might get prompted for a pin I did it's zero 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 by default if not you have to go to the dealer and have them reset it for you you got aug switches I have this right now plugged into one and you can <clears throat> either have it be battery fed or ignition fed the other feature is um, what type do you want it to just be a momentary when you press it and let go it's done or stay in a toggle on off position and also you can program it to remember your last state and so I left all the defaults it's battery fed um, and I'm gonna show you how this is wired up with this kit comes various wiring harnesses um, from Ram or Dodge and I took one of these connectors here and you have to uh, you know strip the wire and solder it or use some sort of connector and the buttons match to these there is actually numbering very tiny right there on the side and this is aug switch one I just plug that connector in there you got to take these plugs out they look like this with needle nose pliers you just grab right on them pull them out so I soldered this onto this white wire I'm holding um, right here here's the LED light I have it grounded back there and we're gonna run a test right now so um, you can see it's off and when I touch the wire here the light doesn't come on so <clears throat> Let's turn it on real quick. It's on. Try to be careful. Get a little tiny shock. Um, and now I'm going to touch the wire here. And you'll see that it turns on. You see? So <clears throat> you don't need the wiring harness that comes with it. This is already controlled by a relay and a fuse. And you can change the fuse. It's right here, right next to the ports, and it's very convenient. You get to use those buttons. So I hope you find this video useful and helpful. Please uh, like the video and share it because I spent a lot of time searching for this. I saw one guy who did a redundant, where he, he redundantly wired the wiring harness that came with the, the LED lights to this upfitter kit, and that was unnecessary. He just have to run the wires directly to it and then you can use the buttons from in the, inside the cabin so uh, enjoy have a good day